It's difficult speaking extemporaneously, which is why the teleprompter was invented. It's basically two parts a software or hardware device that generates the text scrolling by at the speed that the reader is reading it and some kind of display device. So it could be a monitor or something with a screen and a beam splitter so that the talent can look at the lens and have that sort of connection with the viewer without staring off into space reading something like cue cards or whatever. So today we're going to be talking about PTZ Cam's NDI teleprompter. It is basically software that takes text and turns it into an NDI stream. It does more than that because it has things like HTTP triggers in it, which lets it actually automate your studio so that if you're a one-man band, it will actually switch cameras for you, which is pretty neat. And PTZ Cam's um, NDI decoder for that. So this is a screen with an NDI decoder and a bracket for mounting on things like uh, pan tilt heads or on monitors so that you can read the screen just below the lens, uh, for example, if you have a PTZ camera or some kind of other camera that doesn't ideally situate or work with a, um, an existing teleprompter solution, or the software works with your teleprompter solution via an NDI decoder. So there's a couple of different ways to slice it. Let's take a look at the different parts and how they work together. So this is the software here. It's pretty simple and straightforward. We can just use it to load a file and append it to the view and click start. And the important thing here is this scroll step. That is the speed at which the text is going and you want to use this to follow along the speed of the reader. So whether they're reading quickly or slowly, you're always showing them the text that they want. And that's tied to the up and down keys. And I'll show you a couple of, we have a, a a keypad hooked up. There's a couple of different ways that we can um, adjust the speed. It doesn't have to be on the keyboard. It can be a dedicated control. And uh, we can also adjust the resolution and the uh, font and the size of the text. But the thing that I wanted to show you actually is this um, cool feature here, which is the ability to use HTTP API commands within the text. So Anything that's in the brackets will actually not be rendered out to the screen. So um, to just quickly parse this out, this is just an API command, a simple example, uh, sending to the local host the function fade for a duration of 1,000 milliseconds, which is one second. So fade for 1,000 milliseconds. This over here actually is just uh, what will, will appear on the screen. So we could say cut to cam2 so that the person who's reading it knows to turn their head and look at a different camera. And that's important because we can give instructions to the viewer as to the commands that we're doing. Um, these commands don't have to be simple cut commands. They can be bring up an overlay. They can be set a score to a certain... vMix has an extensive array of uh, API commands. So almost literally anything that you can do in vMix, it can be done with a command like this. And it's not limited to vMix. There are many uh, applications that have these HTTP commands, including things like uh, PTZ cameras. If you wanted to, to trigger a PTZ cameras preset so that uh, at a certain point the um, camera starts to zoom in, that is also possible here. So I'll clear this, add it, and I will start it going. And then you should see um, on the right here as we step through it, there should be a fade at some point. I'll speed that up so we don't have to wait all day. But you should see a fade on the right-hand side where VMIX will fade over to the different camera, which is awesome. So the second part of this is the NDI decoder screen. Um, so this is a perfect example of a, an application where you would not want to use a, a teleprompter beam splitter. Just mounting this lens just above, uh, this screen just above the lens on top of a pan tilt head um, makes it really easy. So this is a combination of a screen, a decoder, and a bracket, um, all being powered off of a single PoE injector. So there's a single cable, just like deploying a PTZ camera is easier because the power video and uh, control are all going through a single cable. In this case, both the NDI signal plus the power are going to this uh, PoE injector, which is split to powering both the science image and the um, 
the screen here that's mounted on top. So this makes for a very nice solution for uh, if you want to just throw a monitor on top of a tripod uh, or on top of a handheld head. This is uh, one way of viewing the teleprompter output from the NDI teleprompter. You could use it with your existing beam splitter and an NDI decoder like Science Image, or you could use it with uh, any other kind of NDI decoder. So in this case, the bracket is mounted the other way so that the screen is below the lens. And during the opening, I was actually looking at this screen, not here, and you're not really able to tell the difference because at a distance of eight feet, the, the eye line definitely isn't, isn't different enough. So I can read this and look like I'm looking here. Uh, the other neat thing about this arrangement, since it's a full NDI decoder, is as a confidence monitor. So if you wanted to give the output of the system um, a, a different output. So, oh, that's that's kind of interesting. So here is the output of this camera over here being fed into this monitor and, and recursive. Everybody loves recursive uh, stuff. Um, but this is basically the output of uh, another one of the systems. Let me show you something different. Um, so here's, you know, here's a, a video, basically. Um, so the talent can be seeing that, you know, they're framed properly, or this can be an interview where um, somebody is, you're, you're feeding the vMix call from uh, the from vMix via NDI out, via an aux bus to this screen so that the person who is looking at the screen can see the person that they're talking to while still managing a, a pretty degree, a large degree of eye line. And that's PTZ Cam's teleprompter and display bracket solution. The two work together awesome, but they also work individually for other kinds of workflows to give you an awesome way of doing teleprompting and displaying your NDI decoded stuff on a variety of situations where you haven't been able to before. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to us at US Broadcast. Once again, thanks for watching.